We live in a, a time where having a sense of security in moments seems to be fleeting. We, we try to do things that, um, that protect our loved ones, our, our homes. We, we hunger as a nation to, to have that, that sense of security and, and peace. I was talking with someone um, several years ago, and, and I'll never forget what they told me. They, they work in a sensitive area, and they have to learn um, a, a password, a, a code, if you were, would, to assess their computer system. And, and it's a lengthy code, uh, and they have to learn a new one each week. The sensitive nature of their work and, and the, the requirements uh, I can't imagine learning a 16-digit code, a new one, every week uh, as part of my regular team. There's probably not many here this morning that, that don't know a, a pen of one sort or another. Related to your ATM cards, if you have a pen, raise your hand. Just about everyone. We all have those pens. and. And, you know, several weeks ago, I kind of stepped into it when I talked about um, Michelle and Mai's anniversary. And I have that memorized by the month and the, the date, but it's also our pen for a lot of things. And, and I just, I couldn't bring myself to say it, you know, because we want to keep our pen Say, Michelle, we're going to have to go home and change it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but doesn't that provide us with a sense of security and safety? We can assess it, but we know uh, the reality is that, that people know how to crack those, and more so today than ever. So where, where do we put our trust? Where do we put our hope? You know, all of the the cloud-based computing today. I know lots of people that are, are starting to put their files into the cloud. Does anyone know what the cloud is? <laughs> you know, the, the cloud computing, it, it's a, a series of hard drives stored away in some facility somewhere that, that we can do that remotely. Most of the people that I know that do that back it up and keep a paper copy for themselves. Say, they just don't quite trust the cloud yet. Where do we put our trust? Where do we, we put our hope? You see, there's not much in this world that's really secure, is there? We count on, on governments, we count on, on programs, we count on PIN numbers, but, but in reality, in the end, all of those things that are of human construct they can fail, can't they? They oftentimes do. Psalm 71, our text for today, it challenges us to, to think long and hard about the source of our security. You see, for years we've, we've trusted gover the government to provide us with political security and law enforcement to provide us with community security and, and our medical system to provide us with health security and our financial system, including online banking, to provide us with economic security. But we learn the reality that there can be breakdowns in any of these systems at any given moment. The writer of Psalm 71 calls God and and hear these absolute terms in, in verses 3 and 4. A rock of refuge. A strong fortress. One who can rescue us from the hand of the wicked. How does that make you feel? Those are words that speak of the eternal. They're words that speak of the Creator that will not fail us. The psalm challenges us to, to put our faith in the Word of God 
instead of human words. We can reveal everything to God and to trust God to protect us and to save us. The psalm begins with these words in verse 1. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. And the psalmist goes on to ask God to be a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Now if we tried to read between the lines for just a bit and, and try to figure out what was going on in the life of the psalmist at this moment when, when he was writing these words, we, we might very, very quickly come to the conclusion that, that he was being pursued, that, that he was being chased by his enemies and, and he needed to hide. Or, or maybe he was facing one of those illnesses, a, a life threatening illness that would alter his world forever. Maybe it was weakness in old age and the need of healing and help. We don't know for sure. But we do know that he pleaded to God. In verse, he said, In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. There are those moments when we all need that strong fortress where we know that, that we're protected and that we will be safe without question. A place where, where hackers or criminals or illness or enemies or failures or betrayals will not be able to penetrate. We need that place, don't we? We long for a place that, that is a rock of refuge, a mighty fortress that never, ever fails. During the, the Protestant Ref Reformation, uh, Martin Luther found himself in, in a life circumstance where as he took a stand against the Roman Catholic Church, he very much was needing to find that fortress, that safe place. And out of his experience came one of the great hymns of the faith. In 1529, he wrote that hymn which begins, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. It's one that, that resounds in our minds again and again at different points. A mighty fortress is our God, a, a bulwark never failing, our helper he amid the flood, our mortal ills prevailing. Those are powerful words and they speak of the sovereignty and the, the power of our God, the creator of all things. And that's why the, the hymn second verse ends with a, a triumphant prediction and Christ must win the battle. You know, it's been resolved. Christ was and is victorious. A mighty fortress moves past any, any human construct, any password that we might be able to, to memorize to something much more secure, to a completely unbreakable stronghold that's created by who? By God one in which we can always take refuge. Whether it's in the midst of grieving the loss of a loved one, whether it's in the, the treatment room receiving the, the chemotherapy, whether it's in the, the ER waiting for the test result that could turn our world upside down, I guess lately I, I've encountered that in, in many different settings in my life. And, and just the awareness again how the words that someone speaks relating to, to a test 
can just change everything. It, it seems like in our our case, most of the time, the results come back good, but 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 in that one instant when the news is not so good, everything gets turned upside down. And life is never the same. And that's why we have this secure place, this fortress that, that Martin Luther and the psalmist talked about. That's God's promise, His provision for His people. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. God, we thank You for blessing us even to this day. We thank You for watching over us and, and keeping us always in Your care. And in those moments of, of weakness and struggle, may we cling to You and, and enter into that holy of holy places, that, that stronghold and fortress that is of You. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.